I'm Miranda Humphrey and I'm a junior. I'm Haley Topai and I'm a senior. And I'm David Bowen and I'm a senior. And we're from Ogallala High School. Mountain! Why didn't they tell us that toaster strudels with the blue frosting were discontinued? Or about the crippling embarrassment in, in the second grade when, when the teacher didn't call in us fast enough? And we wet ourselves in, in the, the middle, middle of learning subtraction. Nobody mentioned that I would go from despising my dad and idolizing my mom to idolizing my dad and yearning for the approval of my mom. In the third grade, no one told us how friends would have our backs one minute and then hate us the next because we didn't sit with them at lunch. No one deemed it necessary to tell us that in the sixth grade, our hormones and emotions will cause all hell to break loose. Our bodies telling us we're teenagers, but everyone else is smacking a brick on our heads, telling us we're still children. <laughs> no one deemed it necessary to tell me when I had braces. Each morning they'd be stuck in my lips. And boy, did I wish someone would tell me that I did not need to wear those brown gauchos in the seventh grade. <laughs> it was okay to not know if we wanted to be a chemical engineer or an early childhood specialist. Why, Why didn't anyone tell me that as a sophomore, I would have to try to convince one of my best friends to stay on this earth? <coughs> and that I would fail. No one told me that at the near age of 17, it's okay to fall in love. Why didn't they tell us that we most likely won't understand any of the questions asked on the ACT? <laughs> Nobody told me that slicing up my arms and legs would disqualify me from a career in the military. If only, if only someone, someone had said, said, you're not fat, <coughs> maybe, maybe I, I wouldn't have skipped lunch for two years. They also never mentioned how, even though my siblings are seven years older than me, I would eventually get closer to them. Why, Why didn't they tell us that we shouldn't use drugs or alcohol as a crutch for going through a rough time? Passing most turn into lying to our parents about who we're with and what we are really doing. We all wish there was a time machine. But what we don't realize is we're already in one. We're always living in the past. Already living with what you didn't say, what you should have said. Maybe then, if you told us the truth to begin with, we wouldn't have to ask, why? Why didn't you tell us? <laughs>